What's wrong guys? Jayhoid back with you today. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. We got some more CDL playlist for you. Playing some hardpoint on, I think this is Ramaza, Ramazda, whatever the heck it's called. But uh, we, uh, we kind of go off in this one a little bit, not too much, but we still have a good game nonetheless. But... As we saw before on my last Call of Duty video, we covered the preview of the Call of Duty or CDL Los Angeles homestand. And, well, that was this past weekend. So, we got the recap video for you. And this one, we're going to start out strong with Group A. As in, well, not before we even get into groups. So, beforehand, we predicted the Minnesota was going to do well. The Battle of LA, which could go, could have gone either way because of roster changes and role changes and everything, could have gone either way. Group B had Atlanta, which we had the first round, you know, re, or rematch of last event, and then we had Dallas looking to uh, to get to the finals for the first time this year, and uh, we had some uh, some teams show up, some teams didn't, but it kind of went pretty straight forward as we start out in group a here the minnesota roker go against the seattle surge seattle still in limbo over there but minnesota wins this one three to one not really surprised about that one and then we have the battle of la so this one the los angeles gorillas versus optic gaming la this one we said optic gaming would probably win this one it goes game five the new la gorillas team just couldn't get enough in this one as optic gaming la wins in a game five fashion so looks to be role changes may have helped the team and uh maybe they're now a team to reckon with i guess we'll have to see if they can bring it out to the next event as well but that moves us down to group b we had atlanta phase versus florida these guys rematch from cdl atlanta Atlanta, though, comes out with the 3-0 over Florida. Again, Pristini not in the lineup for Florida as they go into this one. The Dallas Empire come out looking for a strong start versus the New York Subliners. Uh, you know, all they were they were at the bottom of the leaderboard, or the, the scoreboard, the standings, I guess I'll call it, that Dallas was most likely going to win this one. We definitely predicted that one. Uh, so that moves Dallas on... Jumping back up, though, to Group A. We now have these qualifying round. The Minnesota Roker going against Optic Gaming. This one, Optic Gaming wins. So, again, second time in a row, Optic Gaming comes out. New role changes. They apparently figured something out. So, now they got two wins under their belt. As down in Group B, Atlanta Face going against the Dallas Empire once again. 3-0 for Atlanta. Atlanta yet to lose a series on land so far this year, but now we got to catch up on the losers bracket. So Seattle versus LA Gorillas. Seattle wins that one 3-0. After losing top to gaming, Minnesota drops down to face off against Seattle. Minnesota gets that 3-0 over Seattle. Moving them on, then they switch spots. But jumping down to group B, we have Florida Mutineers and New York Subliners. Florida wins that one three to one and after losing to atlanta dallas empire face off against florida should be a good matchup however scoreboard not the case dallas gets the 3-0 in that one so now we got the final four right we have optic game la the dallas empire atlanta phase and the minnesota roker so this could have a really good final if it goes how you would have predicted it with dallas and phase in the final however Dallas, first matchup there versus Optic Gaming LA. Dallas wins that in four games, three to one. And this one was a doozy. The Minnesota Roker end up taking the first ever series off of the Atlanta phase this year. So Atlanta finally loses, finally. After what, nine matches or an, in the ninth match, they finally lose but that pushes minnesota on to the grand final versus dallas and dallas takes the game five versus minnesota leaving them as the winner of cdlla and although this was a crazy event you know we kind of predicted it 
pretty spot on, right? The final four we predicted to be Optic, Dallas, Atlanta, and Minnesota. Just a, just how everything kind of worked with roster changes and role changes and everything else with the likes of Chicago, Paris, London, and Toronto not there. You have three of the better teams not there. I guess two if you, if you don't want to count London in there. So that left the door open for some of the teams like Dallas or Minnesota or even Florida to kind of catch up to those top guns there. But that leaves us to now Dallas wins, Atlanta won already, and Chicago won already. So the top three teams that everyone kind of predicted from the start of the game to be the top three teams are now the top three teams as we kind of predicted. Atlanta is now in first, as you can see on your screen now. Atlanta is in first, tied though. Tied for first with Chicago at both at an 8 and 1 record, 90 CDL points so far. Uh, although they have the same amount of map wins, Atlanta does have less losses, 3 less losses on the board. The Dallas Empire are now in third place with a 7 and 5 record. Uh, so they've played some more matches than uh, both other of the top teams, 7 and 5. That's crazy. And then really surprising here 23 and 24 map count so far for Dallas, yet somehow they are in third place. The Minnesota Roker continue a strong showing at another event, making it to the grand final. They sit in fourth place at 7 and 3 with 70 total CDL points this year. Pretty good map count as well, 26 and 19. Uh, that's the same amount of wins, your map wins as Atlanta and Chicago, which then leaves Paris tied for fifth with the Florida Mutineers at a five and four record so far. Florida, five and five. Paris, 21 and 16 map count. Florida, 18 and 23. So if they would have done better at this event, I feel like they could have been a little bit better in the standings, but you know what? They, they're still rocking and rolling. They're on the top of the, the standings so far. London did not attend this event, but 40 CDL points. 4-4 four four record, 17-16 and 16 map count so far. Opting LA, significant improvement from basically last place. They now have two wins under their belt. 2-4 and four record, 20 CDL points, and a map record of 9-14. and 14. We also have to look at it. Opti Gaming LA, they win the first matchup, they win the second matchup, and then they win one more map here. So they have two series wins now in just this event. So you have to look at that going forward. Yes, they were in LA, but are they going to translate to, I believe it's Dallas next. So it looks to be it. they're on the right course. So will they crack, or will they crack the top six after next event? We'll have to find out. But also tied for eighth place, we have the Seattle Surge. Like I said, they're just not doing well recently. I know Octane is getting frustrated with his team. I mean, you could probably throw a trade in there maybe even trade some guys from the LA Gorillas. I know they took out Aches, what was it? Aches Saints and Lacefield. Lacefield could be a possible addition to that uh or not optic uh, Seattle side. I know uh, he's more of a, an aggressive sub, so maybe that could help with your your kills and maybe take out I don't even know who, but again, probably some roster changes in the works for Seattle. I know they already took out Enable and added in I believe it was Pander, so I don't know Obviously, that didn't really work out this event. I mean, they won one series, but are they going to be able to continue that on? I'm not exactly sure. Then you had Toronto not attending this event, but they sit at 10 CDL points, 1 and 5. Again, not doing the best. One of the few teams that actually have a full 10 man roster. So, are changes in the works there? Not exactly sure, but something needs to change there. 9 and 17 map count. And then we also have tied for 10th here, the LA Gorillas. Again, not a great showing here, but they just made a huge roster change. So, I mean, they came out, went to a game five versus Optic Gaming, and then went out in a 3 0 fashion. So, I don't know how much stock you can really put into that. I mean, going into the next event, I don't know if they're there or not, but hopefully they can get as many reps as they can with this new team that they can, you know, practice and, and try to get better. Uh, and then sitting in last place, the New York Subliners. I mean, 
Not the great showing here that you would have wanted to get 3-1 in the first round, and you get 3-1 in the first round of loser's bracket. So, not a great showing from them either, as uh, they continue to struggle. Again, those guys made a roster change. They took out zero. They put in happy. Not really a big fan of that move, especially with the likes of zero. I mean, he has been one of the best European players. Uh, I don't want to say of all time, but one of the better European players of all time for sure. And uh, just something needs to go on with that roster. I mean, again, could you have Toronto, LA, and New York all kind of make swaps and everything throughout their own squads and maybe even throw Seattle? Basically, the bottom, the bottom six teams, I mean, unless you start doing something now, you're going to get into a hole real quickly. Because now that Atlanta, Chicago, and Dallas have that top three spot, you have teams like Minnesota who have been showing that they've been a team to mess with. Or to not to mess with, mess with, I should say. Paris has been taking some maps off, you know, some of the top teams. And Florida, once they get Pristini back, they'll probably be back in form there. So, what do you think? I mean, I mean, although they could get a lot of points if they get high in events, but with those top six teams, that's a pretty strong top six. I see London, you know, turning their season around, uh, upcoming here eventually. Maybe they'll take that Paris' spot, but they got to work hard. Plus, those bottom four teams, or five teams, I guess. Optigame LA, Seattle, Toronto, LA Grillos, and New York. They got to do something to get back into the hunt. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up here. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And as always, guys, we'll see you next time.